everyone, it's TTL back with another rush kit video for you and this has just arrived. Now I know it's been out a little while but NZXT have been a little quiet about getting them reviewed. I did ask right at the very start and they weren't too keen but they asked me the other day would I like one. So I jumped at the chance to get my NZXT N7 and they sent me a white one as well which kind of is quite uh, fitting. But when it comes to motherboards, aesthetics is one thing, but performance, well, that's more than likely going to be the most important thing. Anyway, it comes in a purple and white box. It kind of feels really alien because it almost feels like I'm used to the boxes that turn up now. So this is something very, very new and spangly. Anyway, when you pop it open, you get a user guide and the motherboard is in there in a separate layer, but you do get your IO shield around the back, no metal-y things around there, it's all rather nice. You get the, an NZXT SLI bridge, some people I can imagine putting that in other places. You get four SATA cables, and that's pretty much it, other than the uh, screws that you're gonna need to um, uh, screw it down into your case. Now, the, the reason why they give you screws is because of the um, tray standoff to make things a bit easier, but depending on your motherboard standoffs on your case, these threads might not fit because these are an imperial thread and I do know that quite a lot of cases come with a metric M3 thread. So if these don't fit, do not force them in. You, um, you will just have to use your normal uh, case screws. If you do have to use your normal case screws, use a magnetic screwdriver. So the motherboard itself, it looks quite nice. It's got a, a majoritively metal cover over the outside which is uh, kind of different to most of the other ones out there that are normally plastic but this bit this bit and this bit are plastico and I will show you underneath them in a momento but this one is the only uh, false one I'm going to show you underneath all the rest of them we pull the top off but it's more so that we can give you a good look around it's got it, this is actually a matte white rather than a gloss or a satin uh, but we can have a look to see what goes on under the hood. So with the top off, it's easier to just take the top off and then we can show you. Um, the VRM thing comes off separately and then when you get down to the uh, rest of it, there are clips around the back and this is why I wanted to show you it this way around, was so that you can get a, a feel for how they come off because when you see them coming off this way, it makes a little bit more sense. So there's your M.2. And then there is another one kind of like hidden up here, which is a bit of a pain in the bottom to get off. That's got a plastic clip on it, but you get all of those come off and then that exposes what's underneath. And that's why we're here now. So down the bottom, you have the M.2 and then you have the uh, code reader over here. That's completely covered. You can either see it or you can't. You're going to have to make your piece with that. Obviously, you're only really going to need to see it when the um, when you're having issues. So it might be a good thing. Hopefully, in the BIOS, we'll be able to turn that off. We'll be able to tell you that in a full review. Up here, you've got the other M.2 chipset heatsink over here. You can see the uh, VRM array at the top. Well, at least you can see the chokes anyway. Um, so we will have a, a good old look at that when we do the main review because I'll pop it all off to have a look. Loads of fans up the top, SysFan 4, 5, 6, CPU fan, AIO pump. Then there is some more down here, water pump, SysFan 1, 2, 3. I'm just looking, scanning around, I can't see any other ones. You do get a, an LED connector there, an LED connector there. It does look like it's for the um, NZXT connectors, which would make a lot of sense, but I will test them with uh, normal RGBs as well. Again, I will do that in the main review. This is just a skim over to have a look at the moment. You get four SATAs down the side, USB 3, something I did like down the bottom. You get another USB 3, but you get three, yes, three USB 2s. So you could have a power supply, an AIO, or you know a hub or whatever, and then still have one for your case fan, for your case USBs on the front, that is amazing. I know it's focused in on that. Uh, then you've got a reset and power switch down the bottom. Round the back, you have all of your I.O. So you've got HDMI, DisplayPort, USB 2s, 
USB 3s, gigabit Ethernet, audio, yada, yada, yada. So yes, it's been a while since we've had a rush kit video, but there you go.